Pirelli has traditionally played a key role in the history of competition tyres. In 1951, the company introduced the revolutionary Cinturato on the Alfa 159. The innovative Cinturato technology took its name from the radial belt that wrapped around the tyre carcass, initially made of textile fibre and then later out of metal. This eventually gave rise to wider tyres, which paved the way for tubeless tyres that no longer required an inner air chamber. The arrival of aerodynamics increased the vertical forces at work on the car, and tyres had to be further developed to meet those demands. The tyres became wider, surpassing 40 centimetres. Pace of development, seen most obviously with the wider tyres, increased the contact patch dramatically in 20 years, but still featured a pattern with treadlocks. Slick tyres came in 1971, and these were designed specifically for racing. The evolution also extended to the actual compounds, which replaced natural rubber with synthetic materials that provided a lot more grip. The stress placed in the tyres also increased, reaching a critical peak with the 1971 Lotus 56B. This rear-engine car was powered by a gas turbine engine derived from aeronautical technology, putting out 600 horsepower and requiring four-wheel drive. The car's heavy weight and huge torque placed massive demands on the front tyres in particular, which were subjected to several different types of stress. In 1979, the Ferrari T4 won the title on radial tyres. This solution became the norm because of the ground effect technology employed at the time. The use of side skirts squashed the cars right to the ground, placing further demands on the tyre carcass. The radial tyre was characterised by increased rigidity, ensured by a metal band that covered the width of the tyre along with the existing internal structure. In the 1980s, Pirelli introduced some more new technology, dual compound tyres. These were designed to ensure maximum performance during qualifying and contained tyre degradation during the race. This was a tyre that was effectively made up of two compounds. The internal compound was harder for use during the race, while the external compound offered more grip for qualifying. Problems with traction and wheel spin often experienced in qualifying were eliminated by the external layer of softer rubber, allowing teams to make full use of the wide range of turbo settings that were available at the time for both qualifying and the race. The Italian firm returned to the pinnacle of motorsport from 1989 to 1991 with the Pirelli P7 tyre, which took the Benetton of three-time world champion Nelson Piquet to victory. The slick pattern of competition tyres has remained the only constant element over the last 30 years. The radial carcass, dual compound technology and the use of composite materials represent some of the most important technological steps that have led to the current generation of tyres. With increasingly sophisticated cars, Pirelli has pushed the boundaries of technology both with tyre structure, which now uses layers of composite materials to strengthen the carcass, as well as with tyre compounds. Different compounds are designed to provide maximum grip and performance under massive extremes, which only the top level of racing can provide all over the world circuits.